I just got out of my screening of the Super Mario Brothers at the AMC Dine in 12 in Sunnyvale, California, and I shall tell you whether or not you should see it, stream it, or skip it. Mario and Luigi are transported from the real world into the Mushroom Kingdom, and they are tasked with two different things. One, for Mario to save Luigi from the clutches of Bowser, and to help Princess Peach help her kingdom being taken over by Bowser at the same time. So, shall you see this in theaters? Shall you stream it or shall you skip it? I got a preface before I give my full review. I am definitely a Super Mario Brothers fan. I've played the games for years. I haven't played all of them, but I'm definitely familiar enough with the game to know of the lore. And I have to say, if you have played these games at all throughout your life, yes, you should definitely see this. You should definitely go to the movies and see the Super Mario Bros. And I guess you're probably wondering about the voice acting in this film. Jack Black as Bowser, hands down, he is the best in this film. His voice as Bowser is officially the blueprint for this character. What Mark, Mark Hamill did for the Joker, Jack Black has done for Bowser. Um, Charlie Day as Luigi. I like that he gave, I like the personality that he gave Luigi because Luigi has always been like a side character to Mario and I really felt like Charlie Day did his best to make Luigi his own. Keegan-Michael Key as Toad. I loved what he did. I decided, I loved the fact that he went with a sort of like teenager s type of voice as opposed to cutesy. Anya Taylor-Joy as Peach. I love that she gave her more of a nuanced womanly voice, uh, so I thought she did good. And of course, the big one that everyone is wanting to know about, Chris Pat as Mario. I have to say, it didn't bother me at all. I, th I think they do address the whole voice situation within the movie very cleverly and in a way that I felt suited the story and didn't make it like too over the head about it. And I didn't necessarily think about it at all. I don't think Chris Pratt is as strong as a voice actor as some of the other people in this cast, but it grew on me to the point where I wasn't even thinking about it. There's definitely, I don't think this film is pitch perfect, I have to say. It, you're probably seeing a lot of reviews from other critics uh, basically trashing this movie and saying it's not good. You have to keep in mind what they're trying to do is not only decide whether or not a movie is good enough for you to go to the theater and spend money on it, but also they are selling you their philosophy in terms of how they view films, and it's also their way of selling themselves as, hey, you should listen to me when you uh, read your movie reviews. So a lot of them are gonna dig a little too deep for this film, and I think for us as uh, Nintendo fans, we don't necessarily care about that for this particular film. The, the Super Mario Brothers, hands down, is a critic-proof move. Otherwise, yes, go out and see the Super Mario Brothers movie. You will love it, especially as a Nintendo fan. I'm Justin Kayser, and I will see you out of the theater.